Hello, Relayers. I'm very sorry I can't be there with you in person today in Dallas, but I'm at least excited to be coming to you virtually from the Knight Cancer Institute at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. I want to start by describing how I got involved with the American Cancer Society. It was almost 25 years ago when I was just finishing my fellowship at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute at Harvard Medical School, and I was gone back into the lab to begin to work on the understanding of what drove the growth of cancer cells. During those years, I was supported by an American Cancer Society fellowship. Several years later, I then moved to Oregon Health and Sciences University in Portland, Oregon. And when I arrived here, I received a small grant to get my lab started from the state American Cancer Society branch in Oregon. Those funds, both at the end of my fellowship and at the start of my own laboratory, really helped provide me with some of the seed funding to begin my work on Gleevec. And as we began to develop this revolutionary new drug that targeted cancer without harming normal cells, it was the American Cancer Society funding that allowed me to get some of that work established. By 1998, we began our clinical trials with Gleevec, and we took a leukemia that once had a life expectancy of three to five years and have now turned into a disease where we expect people to live a normal lifespan. And we did that through our knowledge of what drives the growth of this one particular leukemia. And because of that work, we now have dozens of other drugs that are targeting cancer without harming normal cells, hundreds more in clinical trials, and thousands more in development. So the work that you're doing today for Relay for Life is helping us discover the new treatments, bringing more options to patients. And as we think about where we are in the evolution of science, we have this remarkable paradox. We have more knowledge and more ability to accelerate the pace of progress than we ever have in the history of cancer research. But we're facing some funding crises in that the funding for research is actually declining. And that's where you come in. That's where the support from the American Cancer Society, that's where the Relay from Life can allow us to obtain additional funding look at innovative new projects, fund exceptional young scientists as they begin to build their career. So thank you very much for all you do. I hope you have a successful relay, and I look forward to continuing to work with the American Cancer Society. Thank you.